Okay, guys, we'll get started today. We got Brian Robinson first, and then we'll have Christian Harris after that. If you go ahead and raise your hand um, through the through the Zoom, we will get get things started. Questions for Vera? Start with James Ogletree. Hey Brian, just wanted to get your thoughts on Trey Sanders. We haven't really seen him in a in a game like situation in college. Just wanted to see what you had seen out of him through his recovery and now throughout camp so far. Oh well, I feel like Trey has progressed a lot over the time as he recovered from his injury, and um, he's making a good role on our depth. And you know, he's he's growing every day. He's learned the playbook, so I feel like he can make a impact on our team in some kind of way if it's on the offensive side of the ball, a special team. So I feel like Trey has recovered pretty well. Thank you. We'll go to Michael Casagrande. Uh, yeah, Brian, just wondering where you think you guys are as a team. You're a few weeks into the preseason uh, schedule, three weeks until a game. Just uh, how complete does this team feel or how ready do you feel for, for competition? Uh, I feel like our team has had a lot of growth over the last couple of weeks. Um, you know, we've been kind of staying focused to the task of what's ahead of us and, you know, just, you know, staying grounded and everybody's just keeping their eyes on the prize. So I think our team is, is coming together completely. And by week one, everyone will be, will be prepared. Charlie Potter. Hey, Brian, uh, you guys added three new faces to that running back room. Just what have you seen from the freshmen there and how have you kind of helped them along as one of the veterans in that group? I think they, they've been making some really good growth also. Uh, it's not taking them a long time at all to uh, learn a playbook. Uh, they pick on pretty fast. You know, they work hard. So, you know, my job is to, you know, make sure they're doing everything they're supposed to do on the field and off the field, you know, so that they can stay focused um, on just learn the playbook so they can, you know, find themselves a role on the team some way this year. Tony Sakalas. Yeah, hey, Brian. Um, earlier this offseason, uh, Steve Sarkeesian, he spoke about kind of mixing it up a little bit more, getting the run game more in the offense. So as a running back, I guess, what, what do you feel when you hear those remarks? Uh, you know, I'm excited for whatever it is to come. You know, I trust Sarkeesian and his plan, you know, to you know get as many running backs as he can on the field, uh, working some new packages that, you know, that will allow running backs more opportunities. So uh, I trust Sarkeesian and his word, and, you know, I'm excited for what's to come. Go to Chris Walsh. What do you think about playing an SEC only schedule 10, 10 games like this? Um, I think playing an SEC only schedule, it would be, you know, very, very competitive, but uh, it'll mean a lot to, you know, competitive guys like me, you know, um, every week just knowing you're playing against, you know, a good team, you know, that can, you know, at least help you grow in some type of way. And, uh, you know, can't nobody really say that, you know, with our schedule that we're not playing anyone because we're playing a, you know, SEC contender every week. So, you know, I'm, I'm very excited for what's to come with that. Okay, we'll go to Mike Rodak. Just going back to for Sark for a second, this is the second year that he's been here now, and that's a little bit different than how things were your first couple of years where there's a new coordinator each year. Just what have you seen out of his offense, and how much does it help as players to have the same coordinator uh, this year as he did last year? Um, only thing I can really see is growth. You know, I just feel like last year, you know, he, he was pretty comfortable, you know, but just – getting to know his players more and know, you know, who he got around him and having him to have to adjust back to our system, uh, like how you want to do things around here. You know, I think he's a lot more comfortable this year and um, I'm excited for what he has for us this year. Go to Brent Hudson. Hey, Brian, there's four returning starters on the offensive line in, in front of you. They were a good unit last year. Now they're getting even more experience, just how much faith do you have in, in that group? And are you seeing the benefits of them returning to the point they have more experience playing with each other? Yeah, I also feel like um, it's very beneficial that we have four returning starters, you know, because, you know, it's, it's not much that we can teach them at this point. Um, they know pretty much everything they need to do up front. And, you know, I'm just so comfortable when I get behind the line and, you know, everything just work out perfectly as far as, you know, recognizing the defensive fronts and, um, you know, communicating that throughout the whole offense. So I feel like the offensive line has a, a very strong impact on, you know, what we can do this year. We'll finish things up with Michael Cusker. Yeah, Brian, just wonder where you think you guys are off at. It's my fault, Michael. Do it again. Hit the wrong button. Ask again. Uh, just wonder 
Can you hear me now? Yeah. Okay, yeah, just offense versus defense. I know that's something that we, people always talk about after the first few scrimmages or scrimmage-like practices. Where do you guys feel like you are for the offenses uh, as opposed to how the defense is playing? Uh, actually, I think we're in a very good spot. You know, we compete well. You know, sometimes we, we come out on top, on top of the defense. Sometimes the defense come on top. But that's just Alabama, and that's just, you know, the way we compete. So uh, my thing is we continue to, you know, compete against each other the way we do. Um, both, both units would, you know, be very strong this year. Okay, b Rob, thank you. Now you got to get to meet each We'll bring Christian Harris up here. Get Christian up here and give our guys back in the video room a chance to frame him up and we'll get started. If you got questions, go ahead and raise your hand and we'll get started. Charlie Potter, we'll go ahead and start with you. Hey Christian, um, I know we haven't talked to you yet, so just last year when you learned that you were going to be placed in the starting lineup, what was your reaction to that news? Uh, I mean, you know, it's a blessing to be able to start for the University of Alabama. Um, you know, each and every day, you know, I went in with my teammates. We were all working, you know, everybody working every single day, going upstairs to meet with Coach to learn the plays, uh, you know, just doing what we can, doing what we we're supposed to do. And, uh, you know, Coach just felt like, you know, he just gave me the opportunity that I deserved it. So, um, but, I mean, that was last season. We're on to a new season right now. You know, we're still in fall camp. We have a scrimmage left. So, you know, everybody's working each and every day trying to get to that spot. Tony Sakalas. How much of a help has uh, Dylan Moses been to you, not just this offseason, but last offseason as well? Uh, well, you know, Dylan, I've known Dylan since I was six years old. Uh, I've been growing up with him, you know, running track, playing football. So, you know, uh, coming here to the University of Alabama with Dylan was a big help for me. Um, you know, he's really like a big brother to me. You know, he's always helping me out, even though he got hurt. You know, he was always on the sidelines, you know, giving me tips, you know, extra stuff just to help me out and make sure, you know, I'm doing whatever I can to help the team. And, uh, you know, this year it's, it's pretty big having him back out there. Uh, you know, he's looking real well. You know, he's a leader of our defense, so kind of gives everybody else a little bit of confidence as well. Go to James Ogletree. Hey, Christian. With last year being your first year playing linebacker, just what was the learning curve there? And was there a, a, a specific point during the season where things started to slow down for you and just with learning the playbook and learning how to play the position? Uh, you know, transitioning from, you know, the fact that I played cornerback and wide receiver in uh, high school, you know, it was in the beginning, you know, the first couple of weeks, it was a little tough, you know, just working on, you know, pad level, uh, you know, reading, uh, having to read the whole defense, having to communicate a little bit more. But, you know, Coach Golden is one of the best coaches in the country. You know, he coached me up every single day. Like I said, I had Josh McMillan, uh, Dylan Moses there to help me out each and every day. So. Uh, you know, I, I was just, I had no choice but to get better every day. Plus, with the offense that we have, I mean, you got Najee Harris, Trey Sanders, you got B Rob. I mean, you have no choice but to come in and get better every day. So, you know, it wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm liking it a lot. Brett Hudson. Uh, Coach Golding talked a lot about the self scout that the defense did over the, the off season. What did you learn about yourself individually from, from that? What was something that came from studying yourselves in the off season that you learned you need to improve? Uh, I would say, you know, learning the plays coming in, you know, May 27th in the summer, I um, only really had two months to really prepare before the season. And, you know, so trying to understand the playbook a lot more, you know, understanding not just my job, but everybody else's job, you know, make sure everybody's lined up and adjusted. Uh, communication. I feel like communication was one of the biggest things that I needed to work on. Uh, you know, I mean, now I think I worked on that a lot. I feel a lot more comfortable with the playbook. You know, I can really just go out there and play football and not, you know, think and be moving slow. I can just play football like I've always been doing. Michael Cosgrande. I just wonder what was it like going out there that first game against Duke last season, uh, finding out you were probably going to be starting a few days before that. What was what was that moment like, and how did you respond? Uh, you know, it was pretty. It was pretty amazing. Um, you know, getting off the bus, traveling, all of that, you know, it was a new experience for me. Um, I think I handled it pretty well. I think as a team, we handled the game pretty well. Uh, you know, it's a little bit, you know, the game was a lot faster than high school. Of course, it's my first college game, but, you know, I feel like the coaches got me prepared uh, well enough to, you know, be able to do whatever I can to help the team be successful, you know, especially in that game. So. Okay, we'll go to Tyler Waldrop. 
Hey, you talked a, a minute ago about sort of what you learned when you self-scouted last year, and you mentioned, you know, things you struggled with, communication, the playbook. I was wondering, was there a moment uh, or, or, or a week or, or so last season when some of that started to click a little more for you and maybe the, uh, you know, you felt like, hey, I'm starting to kind of get the playbook more than I've been or, or, or something like that? Uh, I would say each and every week, you know, I felt like I was getting more and more comfortable with the playbook, with the speed of the game. Uh, like I said, it was just a week by week thing. Uh, you know, by the end of the season, of course, I felt most comfortable. Uh, you know, because I had 12 games to prepare. So uh, yeah, I would just say it was more of a week by week thing. You know, each week I'm noticing I'm getting more comfortable, uh, being able to play faster. So yeah. Go to Drew Carter. Hey Christian, we've heard Coach Saban talk a little bit about how the defense last year wasn't really up to the Alabama standard, at least since he's been there. How often do you guys talk about that? And I guess, how much do you want to get it back to where Saban wants it to be? Uh, you know, the Alabama standard is something we talk about every single day, you know, workouts, meetings, practice, you know, we got to approach everything, you know, with that mentality that, you know, we want to be the best. I mean, especially last season, you know, being 11 and two, Alabama, that's not, you know, something that we would look back at and, you know, be happy about or be proud of, you know, of course we want to go undefeated. We want to win national championships. So, and that's the Alabama standard. You know, we're working each and every day, coming in every day, you know, since we got back from that bowl game versus Michigan, you know, we've been working, talking about it every single day. And I think it's really been a really big motivating factor for us, you know, to keep us pushing and just wanting to get better. Okay, we'll go to Ryan Hennessy. Christian, going into your freshman year, when you moved from DB to linebacker, obviously you got a great coordinator and you got Dylan Moses that was helping out. But what was Nick Saban like on the defense side as a freshman? Was that kind of like a wow moment for you? And was he coaching you a lot throughout the year? Uh, you know, Coach Saban's, of course, like the best coach in college football. Um, you know, in the beginning, uh, I was a little bit, you know, hesitant because, you know, like I said, I played cornerback. Coming in at a linebacker is a completely different position having to be in the box. Um, you know, I just had to put my trust in the coaches that they'll coach me up, you know, Coach Saban, Coach Golden, each and every day and, you know, prepare me, get me to that point where I'll be able to put the team in the best position to be successful. So uh, Coach Saban and Coach Golden did a really good job, you know, with helping me. They were there for me every day. Um, I, I was going upstairs with them after practice, before practice, you know, meeting, trying to increase my knowledge of the game, increase, increase my knowledge of the playbook, you know, and I think I did that and that, that was, it really played a big factor in my improvement throughout the season. Just what's been the mental challenge of this camp, given you've already been in camp for three weeks, you still have three more weeks until a game, and at this point you normally have already played a game, but yeah. it's a different year, obviously. Uh, I mean, for this camp, you know, we're just really, like I said, locked in on getting back to that Alabama standard. I mean, no matter how long it's going to take, uh, I think if anything, having more time helps us, you know, really focus in on the things that we need to work on that we saw last week, That I mean, not last season that we, we lacked on. Uh, so, yeah, we're really just focusing on all of those things during camp, you know, everybody coming in, competing, trying to get better each and every day. So, like I said, we can get back to the Alabama standard. Okay, Christian, thank you very much. Get you to meetings, guys. Thank you. We'll see, talk to you tomorrow.